So I hope you're all having a good day. Yes, I know I'm a spooky, spooky Halloween costume today. Uh, <laughs> I figured I had to do something for Halloween, and this was the easiest costume. Throw on my hat and my jacket. Uh, greetings, all. Uh, cheers. Cheerio. Cheerio. So I hope you're all having a great day. It is Halloween. I don't really have any plans for Halloween other than streaming and hanging out with you all. So hopefully you all have some plans for some fun today. Um, where is the FOV slider? Yes, that's what he would say. Um, why does there have a continue on here? I, I don't know. Uh, because uh, we uh, are currently on a streak of 16. We had a Roxy win uh, the other day. We actually had three wins the other day. I'll be honest, I woke up and was really kind of out of it and tired today. I don't know if I'm up for three runs today, even if we have fast runs. We might just die today because we have a lot of bad ships left. Top notch hat, very dapper. Thank you, Mr. Shogi. Thank you. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna play some FTL. We're gonna try to keep our streak going, but uh, I might do only two runs. And if we just die, who knows? I might end early today because I'm just out of it today. So uh, <laughs> not worth risking the streak for three. Well, honestly, I doubt going for a third run would be what would risk the streak. It would. It's all about what ships we random because we are currently on a streak of 16, and most of the ships we have left are pretty bad so uh we're gonna we're gonna random see what we get and uh see if we die today on this halloween day there we go random ship in three two one and random okay that's the same ship no repeats three two one random slug a we have done all the slug ships three two one random fed a is actually the only fed ship we haven't done yet so uh let me get the uh, prediction going for Fed A. Not the worst ship we have left, that's for sure. Will Rand beat Fed A? Question mark. Yes or no? Two minutes to get your um, predictions in here. Fed A doable. Uh, what's funny about Fed A is um, I don't have a YouTube request. Is I had somebody comment on one of my YouTube videos yesterday or the day before. I think it was on my. A tier list or something where I talked about artillery being terrible and they said what artillery is the best system how is it terrible I responded and told them why I thought it was bad and they're like no artillery is the best system because you don't even have to find weapons and you can just win with artillery and uh, you just spend all your scrap on defenses and I'm like okay well I don't think I'm gonna have a uh, I asked them if they have a lot of hours, and they said, enough to know that artillery is the best system. <laughs> okay, well, well, this person's not going to have a, a logical conversation. So um, let's use the best system, artillery, to see if we can win with this ship. What's up, Viper? Love that. Thank you. I am a Christmas caroler for uh, Halloween. Is it a special day today? It's Halloween today. Uh, you bet all of my your cookies on my win. You have faith. All right. Uh, it's an odd strategy to win with Fede, I know, right? If anyone likes someone, now is the best time to vent yourself. Um, oh, Madman has a 130 stream streak. That's nice. Nice, nice. No spooky games this holiday again. Halloween sucks. I know, Shogi. I'm sorry. I know. Uh, it's a Thursday. If I play anything but FTL, I get no viewers. So I am a slave to the algorithm. I am a sellout. I am whatever. Trying to pay rent is what I am, to be honest. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I know. No, no Halloween spooky movies. Never, I guess. Okay, free borders to start the run. Uh, that is a lot of crew. Let's see if I can vent them into the heel bay. Okay, this should work. Oh god, did I was I too late? I was too late. Okay. Oh well. Uh, my venting was not very good there, I guess. First jump, at least, you know, at least they brought snacks. So, 19 scrap to kill humans who brought snacks. Not the worst first jump ever. Not ideal, but not the worst. That guy has to be trolling. No, they were they were being serious. They were being serious about artillery being really good. There was, there was no trolling. Uh, you, I'm sure you can find the, well, I don't know if you can find the comment. I, I, I think it was on one of my tier list videos or something. Um, uh, quite the spooky hat. Thanks, Nathaniel. Merry Christmas and to all a good night. 
when he said it's the best system, it was a zero at ten bait. He should have said it was a good system to be believable. I don't know. Uh, you want to be human, Grima? All right, sure thing. Shogi, do you even remember what the spooky game is that you gifted that you were telling me I, I needed to play? Because uh, we couldn't. I feel like we uh, couldn't even remember what the game was that you wanted me to play. You love the starting crew on Fede. There's one thing that's good about this ship. It's burst laser too. If there's two things, it's crew. Uh, we're not going to risk our crew for that. Might have to try that for a challenge run. Already only offense. Yeah, yeah. So he's running. Uh, so we're going to use piloting first. Please don't miss all my weapons, please. Actually, isn't weapon upgrade one of the first upgrades? Fuck and you, you, you shitty fucking game. God damn it. Effing value point in piloting. And two missiles and two effing breaches. Go F yourself, effing piece of crap game. Weapons oh, fuck, fuck you, man. game. God damn it. Well, I have no O2 and it's breached. Artillery, best system in the game. I sure hope you've saved me. Nope. Fucking artillery worse than a single fucking missile in this goddamn game. Could you give me a goddamn break, you cheating ass mother? Um, this is breached, isn't it? Yeah, I can't. I can't even fix my shit right now. What the hell, man? What the? Actual look! Look how fuck? good artillery is, everybody. It's done fucking nothing while we die to a two damage missile. Look how good it is. I need this guy to actually leave because we're about to fucking die right now. Look at how good artillery is, everybody. Isn't it so awesome? It's the best system in the game. Uh, this is actually really bad. Uh, this is actually really bad, but hopefully we can recover. A rock high health to repair, I think, is keeping us in this. Okay, um, I have a breach in my heel bay. And all of my crew are low health. Why don't you leave? Did I have a jump? Was it ready? I didn't I didn't even notice if it was ready. Can I repair this breach before I die? I can't get level 202 right now. Uh, if I let if I get the entire ship filled with O2 and then open the heel bay door, will that will that work? We can try that. I'm not sure. I could have jumped and avoided two missiles. Okay. Well, you can uh, say I'm bad at FTL then. Too busy yelling about shit. You think I have enough shared health to fix a breach? I don't know. With Rock being as slow as he is, I'm not sure. I really don't want to move my NG in there. This is sketchy. This is sketchy, man. I don't think I have enough shared health to repair that, in my opinion. So, fuck my life, man. I can't move from one side to the other or else we're gonna die now. Oh, god damn it fucking game. I hate this shit. If I could afford level 202, I could fix this. Well, one, one piece of shit shot. We're screwed, man. <sighs> fucking missiles. I fucking hate this game. I have to try to dodge missiles on fucking no pause right now. Get my fucking shields. Okay, he didn't dodge, thank God. Uh, the only guy that can move to pick shields is the guy that's making, the guy that's making my weapons fire faster, so I'm not gonna move him. Okay. Okay, stop fucking dodging, you piece of shit. 
excuse my language, but I hate my life every time I play this fucking game, so, you know. Good. Okay, look at how useful artillery was, chat. Okay, that gets us 0-2. This, this allows us to recover. <sighs> okay, we can now recover. I hate to spend my first 25 effing scrap on a goddamn O2 upgrade, but now we should at least be able to recover from this shitty start, man. For better or worse, with no cloaking, it's just hard to dodge missiles on no pause as it is, as it is on pause. Nice. Okay, alright. 12 damage and 25, first 25 scraps spent on O2. Not an ideal start for this effing terrible ship. Uh, crazy how devastating an early Artemis can be. Um, that's why when I whine about this video game, the number one thing I whine about is effing missiles on effing enemies. Because, you know, fucking balanced, you know? Uh, okay, okay. I think we need a weapon value, although I'll, honestly, weapon value wouldn't have helped us against an Artemis, so... I probably just want to try to actually get my shields upgraded. Felt this is Randstream. Who's the imposter in a hat? You can't tell it's me with all of my cursing at missiles? You can't tell it's me? Now you're torn. Pay attention to this dumpster run or build a factory. Mm -hmm. Solar Flare, Burst Laser 2, Mind Control, Jesus. Okay, really good dodges for us. You just got here, you hadn't heard the cursing yet. Well, don't worry. Next missile. There will be plenty of cursing again, I'm sure. Oh my god, don't time out the laser with the... Art I fucking hate this game, man. The fucking artillery... I can't even talk. I can't even fucking talk with how much bullshit that is. The solar flare fucking perfectly timed out with his basic laser knocking my shields out. Damn, this bullshit game, man. Perfectly fucking timed. Perfectly fucking timed to make me take a, like, four damage solar flare or some shit. This is fucking stupid. <sighs> ah, please don't have a combat drone or a boarding or an ion intruder drone, please. Combat drone, okay, well... Damn it. No safe fights for me, chat. I couldn't get shield value yet because we were stuck in a solar flare. Fuck you, FTL. Fucking hell. Ah, mini beam fire into my fucking weapons. Fucking random, chat. It's fucking random. Random. Oh, I just fucking hit my shields. God damn this fucking game. Got the artillery or shit offline, whatever it's called. Wow, this fire spread like three times in less than five seconds or some shit. No, I don't take the old. Twenty damage and like three jumps. God, I hate this effing game so much. And why do you play it, man? Hey, why do you play? You should play a different game, man. You shouldn't play this game if it makes you so mad. You're so negative, man. All right. Thanks, YouTube commenter. You're really helpful. Really appreciate all your all of your useful comments. <sighs> I'm dressed as a YouTube commenter for Halloween. That's right. Do I do weapon upgrade? Do I do shield upgrade? Weapon value point? Shield value point. God, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm so... I hate this ship. But it's, uh, it's got the best system in the game, everybody. 
It's the best system in the game. Artillery, it's so good because you can upgrade your defenses and artillery will win for you. Thanks, YouTube commenter. You're, you're so smart. I bet you have a 500 streak in FTL with all of your smart knowledge you have about FTL. Right, I'm doing weapon value. Doing weapon value. Savage. I mean, I'm playing FTL. I can never be happy when playing FTL. It's just, it's, it's just impossible for me to have a good time while playing this shitty game. Uh, it's impossible. What does this sell for? Does this sell for enough to get level 2 shields? I'm not sure. Uh, your YouTube commenter, you haven't seen me eat any of my own boogers yet. Okay. Alright, this is the weakest ship we've fought so far, I think. Double mini beam shot. Hey, at least it didn't start a goddamn fire this time. Uh, do we have any fires for crew killing? Probably not. Artillery must be good. I have a 100% win rate with that A. Yeah, 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 sure. Sure, I'm sure that's the reason. Artillery carrying me. Artillery carrying me to victory is so good. Uh, no, we do not take human quest rewards. Okay, artillery will finish him. Because it's the best system in the game. Okay. All right, we have a store to repair and distraction buoys to sell. So that's something. Look like FTL doesn't play nice for me. I mean, I'm playing an artillery ship, so... What you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? All right, score. I keep I keep my scrap because what if a heavy laser one? It would delay my shields, but getting a heavy laser one would be a huge upgrade here. Okay, nothing. So we just we get our shields and we repair. Look at all this scrap I'm spending on defenses because artillery is the best system on the game that I can just use artillery and not have to worry about anything else. I'm really being mean to that person on YouTube who said artillery is good, but, you know. Cycle of abuse. FTL abuses me, I abuse uh, viewers, then viewers abuse FTL. Or me, or something. Safe fight? No, it's a fucking missile. Cool. Cool. Good dodge. Good. Let's see if there's any fires. It's a rock dude, so fires wouldn't do us any good anyway. Okay, it's a good dodge. I would never I'll never get artillery up in time to actually Life, man. Triple fucking dodge so we can run away. This ship. <laughs> two ships that have run away this sector. Two. Count them two. If you say I should have had my artillery on, well, then you might know, not know that combat drone by itself can get through shields. So I was trying to play smart and not take damage. Damn this game, man. Do you have any ha Halloween plans? Uh, crash and not think about FTL. Those are my Halloween plans. No, I don't. I don't have a social life. No, I don't have any Halloween plans. Um, you would really like that crew rename. Okay, sorry. I'm playing a video game. I I sometimes don't catch everything, so um, I'm sorry. I'll get you in a second. Renaming crew is not the top of my priority list right now. I'll try to get you soon. I'm trying to not fucking die right now, so... Sorry. So nasty. Civ 2 is nice, yeah. Yeah, Civ 2 is great. If it doesn't kill us, it would be really nice. 
Uh, I think that might mean there's a fire going on. If... Nope, it's a Zolt in that force. It's the power to get us screwed up. Okay. Sorry, like I said, it's... Uh, it's I'm playing FTL. This is, this is why I'm trying to career change, because the stress and frustration that I feel playing this game three times a week is... It's just making, making it, making it hard for me to be positive in life, and I need a change. So, I apologize if I'm being negative. I kind of am always negative while playing FTL, and I can't help it. I'm just, it's just, it's just frustration. Okay, what was your crew rename request? Mantis to something with a J. I can't even see what that is. Um, I'm scrolling up, and I don't see the crew rename request. Um, it didn't pop up in my chat, so I can't. Can you say Jack? Okay. Jack. Mantis named Jack. Okay. I guess it's Jack the Ripper or something for Halloween. Okay. Put us down as a reference. Put chat down as a reference for what? My new career change? Okay. Okay. Sure, Twitch chat is, uh, well, this, you know, raise my chances of getting an amazing new job. He's Irish, Jack O'Lantern, Jack Skellington, okay. Alright. Pulsar. Okay, thank God it's not a rebel ritter. Uh, I'm not gonna delay to the pulsar so I can fire as the shields go down. No. Fuck you, you shitty fucking game. Should have depowered my shields. Okay. Okay. Oh, artillery is so useful. Look how useful it was. It got a third powered and then, uh... Pulsar turned it off. It's so useful. It's the best system in the game, chat. Best system in the game. So good. Oh, uh, you're going for Jack Skellington. Okay, you've got hundreds of references. They go to another school. Okay. They need a mod that says motivational things after dodge and missile hits. Or that just make me even mad. I, I don't know. I There's nothing... There's a, nothing you could do to mod FTL to make me happy to play FTL other than change FTL to not be so punishing. So, people who are like, you should do this, and FTL won't make you so mad. No, I have six, seven thousand hours. Every missile hit is as painful as the first one. So, no, adding other comments aren't going to make me happy to play this game. What makes me happy to play this game is not getting effed in the A. That's the only thing that makes me happy. Getting a heavy laser does make me happy, though. That's very good. I didn't even check the other screen. I just, I needed an upgrade. Not getting my ass handed to me is the only thing that makes me happy in FTL. Do motivational comments ever even motivate anybody? Hmm. Alright, this is a safe fight. We can train. And with the heavy laser, I can even train weapons, so... I feel like I'm not doing a very good job spreading the Christmas cheer. So... <laughs> Apologies for my negativity, but you know. It's FTL, what you gonna do? You hate your life when you play this game, that's how I feel anyway. Story time incoming, yes, I have a story time. I can tell you all about more things that have made me negative, I guess. Um, Alright, we're gonna do a lot of training here. I can do engines, piloting, and weapons. That's the only things I can do. I can't do shields, so. Right, let's get uh, cheat engine turned on. Looks like sector one was really good, but I had to spend so much of that scrap repairing the ridiculously high amounts of damage we took from 
two damage effing missiles in Sector 1, so... Okay. Christmas cheer, I wish. It's Thursday, second saltiest day of the week. No Christmas cheer expected. Halloween gloom, that's what it is. You like the fancy hat thing, which are not a lot. Favorite Halloween? I don't really have any good Halloween memories. Maybe one. But the first story I'm going to tell you all is my frustrations with driving in Dallas. That's my first story time I'm going to tell you. So yesterday I was going to my church job because, you know, I have rehearsal every Wednesday night. And I hate... The only thing that gets close to making me curse as much as when playing FTL is driving in effing Dallas. And I was speeding a bit. Maybe like five over the speed limit. And a person pulled out in front of me in a construction zone going very slowly and then hit their brakes right in front of me. I had to slam on my brakes, lay into my horn to not get in a wreck from somebody cutting me off in Dallas. And then they have the gall to turn on their hazard lights and then look at me like I did something wrong. I was so pissed off yesterday. I was yelling and cursing at this other person because to, to cut somebody off and then look at them like they're the ones who are driving badly. I just, I, I effing hate FTL and I effing hate driving in Dallas because you get stupid ass people cutting you off and then flipping you off like it's your fault that they cut you off. It's, it's, the drivers in Dallas are just the worst I have ever experienced in my life. Hell is other people. Yes, hell is other people. So, anyway, there's my story about yesterday and hating driving in Dallas. Um, yeah, that person did not deserve a driver's license, 100%. Um, favorite Halloween. The only semi-positive Halloween memory I could think of is years ago when I made my Jedi costume and my friend Tim and my brother Steven came to, uh, this is when I was living with my ex and we were all dressed up and hung out for Halloween. It was pretty fun. But it's hard to have like any really positive memories when it's involved with your, you know, ex. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has that issue. Uh, right, so this guy's fully trained in everything already. You need weapon training. Okay. So, uh, you don't need weapon training, no. Tailgaters make your blood boil. Well, what frustrates me is people that don't know how to effing yield. Now, I've said this before in, in, in chat. I've said this before in stream. My biggest issue with people who drive in Dallas is people that don't fucking yield. Yielding, for those who don't know or haven't gotten their driver's license yet, if somebody is on a two or more lane street and you're coming from a smaller feeder one or two lane street, the person on the two or four lane street has the right of way. You have to wait for them. And that person yesterday who cut me off was coming from a small side street crossing two lanes to pull in front of me so they 100% did not have the right of way and instead of waiting what did they do they very slowly pulled in front of me causing me to slam on my brakes to not rear end them because they are a dumbass who doesn't know how to yield and that is that's is my biggest frustration driving in Dallas people don't know what fucking yield means so you know I, I feel like I'm just a grumpy old man whining about stuff like this but you know Anybody who's ever driven in a big city over the years knows the pain of driving in a big city and the pain of dealing with shitty ass people who shouldn't be on the damn road. So there you go. There's my there's my story time of yelling at Dallas drivers. Um what you found is people think yield means to slow down instead of actually yielding. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's not how yielding works. Yield means you wait till it's clear. That's what yielding means. It doesn't mean slowing down. <sighs> yielding is like 
I don't know. I don't know why I'm telling you all. It's not like you all are driving around in Dallas. Uh, but I don't know. That's that's there's there's my there's my. Uh, it just it ruins my day anytime I'm trying to get anywhere, and um, I have to deal with fucking Dallas traffic. It just ruins my day every time. Oh, we should have half your dodges, bro. If you do drive in Dallas every once in a while, well, I feel bad for you because it's a nightmare. It's an actual effing nightmare. You're taking notes, okay. You will be nice when you go through here just for you. Okay, I appreciate that. Okay, all right. Are we into a good place now? We have second shield. We're almost at the end of sector two. I have a weapon upgrade. I need power. If I get a power, I'm in a decent spot. I'm not in a great spot, but I'm in an okay spot. I'm never in a great spot when I'm on this ship because we have artillery, the worst system. I mean, best system in the game. Just the best system in the game. Distress beacon. I can't do any of the uh, clone bay ones, but with our crew and an NG, I feel like there's a chance that Distress Beacon, decent chance it's a good gain. Hey, roundabouts when driving because no one knows how to yield when entering them or stay in their lane when driving in them. Well, thankfully, we don't have many of those in Texas. Fed A loves Distress Beacons. Yeah, I guess uh, the artillery does count as the carefully cut the ship out, too, so that's nice. Oh, I fucking hate this fucking game. Artemis, two damage missile. Balanced, chat. So balanced. Hey, let's give enemies a bunch of offense that is really punishing and have no downsides. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a great plan. FTL devs, probably. FTL devs, probably. Um, you hate the people in roundabouts who bait you with their signals and the person behind you gets mad. You stop for someone who didn't turn a signal to leave while leaving. Okay, I don't know what that means. There's a reason the Fed unlock is use your crew and blue options. They knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah. Um, so hacking and cloaking are the two systems we want to get. So in hacking, don't hack my weapons. Okay, good. Only need one shield here, so we can turn on artillery. The best system in the game. Two damage missiles. So balanced. Remember, chat, if you ever hate missiles, here's what Justin Maul said about missiles. They're a timer on your health. The game was too easy if, if missiles didn't exist. Just, just too easy, this game. There, a timer on your health. Alright. Um, store, we'd have to dive for. No thanks. I don't have long range scanners for the nebula, but. I don't want to have Force Sultan in the Force Sultan, so I'm going to go uncharted. Um, let's see here. Ten fuel and a nebula, huh? Um, do I want to get level two piloting for potential manly search? Not yet. I need to save up enough for hacking, I think. Once I get enough for hacking and can get 20 extra scrap, maybe I'll invest in level two piloting. If I can't afford... Level 2 hacking because I had spent scrap on piloting. I'll be sad. Oh, so far we've had two empty jumps. Can we make it three? Fuck you, FTL. Two empty jumps and then a one in three chance to lose a jump. And we lose the one in three. 
God damn it, MTL. Why does everything that can fucking bad happen have to happen all the time? Two shields with a fucking giant missile. Cool. Cool, man. Cool. Cloaking and a fucking giant missile. If this guy hits my weapons, I am just so done with FTL today, I swear. I swear if you fucking hit my weapons, you piece of shit. Come on! Fuck you, FTL! What the hell? <sighs> I wait for his cloaking. Well, he didn't, hit, he didn't hit my weapons. Prayers answered, I guess. Cloaking and a breach missile. Shit. <sighs> Why do I play this game if I get so mad? Like that YouTube person who says you shouldn't play this game. Why do I do it? I don't know. I don't, I don't know why I continue to torture myself with this. Oh yes, now I remember rent. I have to pay rent. I keep forgetting. I have to pay fucking rent. Uh, what a terrible deal. Please don't get your shields repaired in time. Okay. Okay. Um. Yes. Sector 3, two shields, big giant missile, cloaking. Really balanced ship design. Frickin' slug ship is the reason, really. Look at how useful artillery was there, chat. Did literally nothing. Did literally nothing. It's so good. I don't know why I'm harping on this so much. I guess I just I can't believe somebody would say artillery is the best system in the game, and I'm just constantly having to talk crap about that. Uh, not even a very good scrap reward. Does the tracker have a tally for scrap used on repair? No, I wish it did. Okay, this is a safe fight. So I'm going to try to crew kill this. And the way to do that is we get the Mantis low, but don't kill him. In hopes that an NG will board us that we will kill. If he boards us with another Mantis, I don't, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to crew kill because he probably just repairs O2 with an NG. Okay, perfect. We want to kill this guy. Zombie shop with the 50 bucks. Let's see that crystal screen. Did that hit our goal? That hit our goal. We did not kill that NG in time? What the F? How does a Mantis and a human not kill an NG before he gets back? Okay, this guy's level 2 heal bay 100%. So, no crew kill. No crew kill. Okay, and this guy has all of the dodges. Well, thank you, Zombie Shop, for hitting us, helping us hit our goal. Christmas caroling stream is now confirmed. I will let my guy know. Uh, if we go over our goal, it's still a good thing, because then I can actually not only pay my singers, but actually pay myself for singing. So... So I'm not going to bring it down, but um, hitting our goal means we are now confirmed for Christmas Caroling Stream. Thank you, Zombie Shop, for doing that. Really appreciate that. Christmas Stream Unlocked. That's right. And let's heal up. Reset the goal and fill it again. <laughs> no, I won't do that. But anything over is bonus. Uh, somebody asked if we get 660, could we do two Christmas Streams? And I'm not opposed to it if we do something like that. Um, if we actually want to do multiple Christmas streams or just do one single longer Christmas stream. Seven, six, five. Goal hit stream over, go home. <laughs> Good that it's only the big giant missile and not a fast firing weapon up. I think that's good, although. Is that a Hermes? Okay, good. Good, we've reached it. Okay, that puts his weapons online. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, new goal, $4,000, the whole Christmas stream will be in a hot tub. Yeah, I don't know if I, uh, 
Yeah, that's not happening. I'll just say no. Um, obviously, 350 was a typo on Random 550. <laughs> two Christmas streams is a bit extra. Yeah, I think so too. So I don't plan on doing two Christmas streams. Uh, but we could do a longer one potentially if we if we get if we go super high maybe maybe we do a longer Christmas stream we have enough music we could easily go for two hours that's for sure two damage missile so balanced Quit 660 Rand can do the stream and pay rent. There you go. That would be nice. <laughs> if you get $127,750, will I do 365 Christmas streams? Wow, that would be a lot of Christmas streams. Does, does the math work out? I don't know. I don't know. 51 Christmas stream, but do it twice as Christmassy. <laughs> there you go. Alright, is there hacking? No, there's a flack though. That's not really what I was hoping to spend my scrap on, but you know, flak, I can't be mad about a flak. Oh, free slug, okay. Uh, I need you on piloting, slug. Slug on piloting makes us immune to mind control, phase three of the boss on my pilot, so that's useful. This does lose us some dodge right now, which is not ideal. That's okay. So heavily debated by the flak, he didn't even notice the fire beam. I know, didn't even notice it. All right, this is a crew kill. This is a crew kill. We are 100% crew killing this guy. What is that bomb though? We don't actually kill him. Good leave. Ion bomb. Okay. So he should board with the NG. We need to kill the NG this time. I'm really worried. Don't hit my don't hit my shields, please. Don't hit my shields. Perfect fucking timing. Right. He hits my shields right as the heavy laser goes off. That's so insane. Oh my god, he's got level 3 fucking clone bay. Are you goddamn shitting me right now with these fucking overpowered enemies? Okay, there's the crew kill at least. Alright, really good reward. Okay. The perfect timing of Ion Bomb right as the heavy laser fires, so I couldn't even react in time to it. I could have shot his weapons, but I was trying to not do a bunch of hole damage so I could crew kill. And like, god damn, the, the timing on things that have happened this run, like the perfectly timed basic laser hitting right as fire solar flare goes off and other shit, it's insane. I don't know what to upgrade. I don't have the power for a weapon even if I get the weapon, so I'm thinking of getting the weapon, the, the weapon the power first and then we go for the weapon but we also need dodge we also need to save up for hacking i think maybe i should have flak plus heavy instead of flak first right now. what's with the hat you know what day it is lychee do you know what day it is it's Chris it's christmas day no not really it's uh it's halloween this is my halloween costume Happy Halloween. I am already ready for Christmas. Not really, but this is my Halloween costume. Yeah, it's Halloween and Christmas on the same day. It's Christmas on Halloween day, the button has been pressed. 
The radio has let us know that this is not a test. Yeah, no training with an ion bomb, that's for sure. Nailing two birds with one Connie. I don't know what that means. I don't know what a Connie is. Other than a woman's name. Slug rename. What was it? B-O-O-G Boogeyman. Okay. Um, for future reference, uh, P. Floyd, I don't like one person renaming multiple people, uh, multiple crew on a, on a run. I'll do it right now since I'm not getting all the requests, but I prefer you not to request multiple names. So we leave it open for other people. Just to let you know, I prefer that. Dodged for Zoltan at least. Nice, nice. Okay, we have NG for blue option here, yes, okay. Okay, no store, let's get our weapon upgrade. Did I not get power earlier? I didn't, so I'm gonna get weapon and power. Okay, so we have flak burst laser. I need to save up for hacking. Okay, free stuff is nice. Free stuff is nice, NG free stuff is what we hope to get here. Okay. Missile, okay. Good dodge on the missile. Oh, why did I shoot at his shields? I meant to shoot at his weapons. That's just a bad play right there. Damn it. Well, it doesn't matter if I aim at his missile, it will never go down. Okay, good dodge, good dodge. Okay. Jesus, these freaking spam calls. About, we want to talk to you about who you're voting for. I don't want to talk to you ever, so please stop calling my phone. I've gotten so many spam calls lately, it's insane. Like, at least one to two uh, spam calls per stream the last, like, week and a half. It's insane. No, I don't want to talk to you about what the future is looking like for Texas. Please, please stop calling my phone. Looking dapper? Thanks, Dapper Rich. Nice self... Um, reference referential pun, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. All right, one, two, three. Yeah, let's do one more jump before the store. You're voting to ban missiles so they stop ending up in rebel hands. Turn rock into hot candy. Okay. That's, that's an interesting name, but okay. Hot candy. Yes, voting season means you can't avoid spam. Self-promotion. I mean, look, calling me Dapper when your name is Dapper, pretty good, pretty good. Poking that I'd love to buy, that I'd have to sell one of my OP OP weapons to get. So I'm just gonna get back a battery and some fuel. To get another weapon upgrade, but it is NG Sector, so there's a decent chance we get another store over here. Uh, there will be rides in the streets if people spam called us about the election in the UK. Hmm. Okay. Good. Well, it's probably freedom of speech or something. I don't know. I don't know why. Um. Okay. Did that guy board us in his low health and I could maybe crew kill him? Maybe. Turn off artillery. Damn. Close to the kill. 
Oh yeah, who would they be riding against? The government for allowing it. Okay, give them nothing and just feel no fear. Usually poll workers doing the calls, it's not even official campaigns. Uh, okay. Um, uh, so I don't really have options unless I'm okay with diving. One, two, three, four, five, six dive. We get two extra jumps if we do that. I do not think I can survive a dive, or at least... Man, I feel like... I've only seen one store in this NG sector. I feel like I'm guaranteed to get another store if I dive this. If I go one, two, three, four, five, six, I get two extra jumps and almost guaranteed a store. Is that worth... Is two extra jumps and a very high chance of getting a store worth a sector four dive? Dive would be scary. I'm just going to go here and hope that this is my store, I think. Because if that's my store, then I don't even need to dive for another store. Could I have hacking? I know, I know. That's why I want to do it, even though I shouldn't do it. Jesus Christ. Do you have an offensive drone rigger at a PSR? Fuck this game, man. Insanely good weapons at a pulsar with an offensive drone. Okay, got all his offense offline. Very good. I think pulsars are just the dumbest hazard in the game. They're so stupid, man. Took a little bit of damage. Could have been worse. I don't know if to get repair training. Okay. Um. If you roll hacking from the store, would a dive be worth? Probably. There's no way to guarantee that. I've ever played Hades. No. No, I have not. I've heard it's a very good game, though. Store. So now I have to decide if I want to go one, two. I could still go one, two, three, four, five, dive. So if I see this is a store from this jump, I might commit to the dive. Never played Hades. I'm not a big side scrolling action. Is that, is that what that game is? I think it's a, like a 2D action platformer side scroller game or something, I think. Not big on those types of games, but I fucking hate this game. Then why do you play it, Pastrand? Right, Jeez, time for Pastrand to go Just off. Just quit. Just live your life. You don't need this negativity, Pastrand. I'm sick of hearing. Get out. Get out. Okay, missile down. Uh, hey, this is a 2D action roguelike, not a platformer. 2D action roguelike. Okay. Uh, not big into those types of games. I don't. When was the last time I played a 2D action roguelike on my stream? I, I don't remember the last time I did. Yeah, I don't like twitchy games. I don't like twitchy games, and I'm pretty sure Hades is an, is an amazing game, but like you have to like... I like slower tactical games, not fast-paced action games, usually. I feel like Rand would love RimWorld. Uh, I have played Rimworld on stream, and I'm pretty sure I kind of rage quit that one, too. <laughs> it's a twitchy AF game. Have I tried out Frostpunk 2? Uh, I don't know that I knew that was out. I played the first Frostpunk, and I, bl I feel like I remember enjoying that. I feel like I remember enjoying that game. So, uh, I, sh I would be interested in checking out Frostpunk, too. Although, to be honest, the games I'm really looking forward to right now are not roguelikes. They're, um... Uh, the two games I'm looking forward to most right now, I talk about all the time, is the MMO Ashes of Creation and 
Path of Exile 2. Those are the two games I'm really interested in. And Path of Exile 2 just got delayed a little bit for its early access, but it's early access is December 4th now, I think. I will probably play, be playing that on stream at least once. Everyone enjoys Frostmunk. Would you like to legalize child labor to save the colony? Yes, yes I would. Would I try to slay the Spire 2 when it drops? 100% I would. Looking forward to Path of Exile 2, Silk Song, and Subnautica 2. Nice, nice. Okay, no store. All right. Yeah, Silk Song 2. Uh, enjoy the wait. That's the meme for that one, right? Uh, be ready when it comes out in 2035. It's also the meme about Ashes of Creation, though. Well, there's my store. Do I dive for a store? I could get cloaking. I could get hacking. I could get none of those. Get a weapon upgrade, I guess. I didn't know that Slay the Spire 2 was in development, honestly. You're half hyped for Subnautica 2 and half scared it's going to get destroyed by DEI. What is that? Is that a developer or something? Do they have a publisher or something for it? You plan playing a lot of Slay the Spire and prep. Is Slay the Spire 2 coming out soon? Because I haven't been hearing about it. What are my next sector choices? NG Homeworlds and Rock Homeworlds. Right, we're like, we're guaranteed in multiple stores NG Homeworlds, so I'm gonna not die for a store. Trailer dropped a while ago. For Slay Bar 2, what's the release date? Is there a release date? Usually when they show a trailer, there's some release date, right? DEI is a political scare term, okay. Early 2025 is Slay Bar 2, okay. All right, there's both our systems. Well, if we can only get one, I want that one. Can I get two if I sell this? Yes, I can. Okay. Systems are done. Weapons are pretty good. If I can get one more weapon upgrade, that's a good store. I'll buy fuel from the last bit of scrap there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, uh, it's early access in 2025. Oh, it's not release. It's only early access. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean... Slay the Spire 1 was in early access for a while, right? So... I guess it could still be good. And the uh, thing I'm excited about with Path of Exile 2 is their early access is also coming out in December. But Path of Exile 1 was in early access forever and it was an amazing game the whole time. So Slay the Spire 2 could be that as well. All right, well, these are just empty jumps over numbers. That's not great. Um, eight, seven, six, five, three, three. Let's check the store. I just got to buy fuel. Um, Rand, if you want, I can get you one in January. What are we talking about? I'm not sure what we're talking about. Get me one what? You want to gift me the game? Uh, I'd be cool with that. Um, uh, small bomb is good. Do I sell it to get a power and an upgrade online? Maybe. I kind of want to get hacked too right now. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the bomb just so I can get hacked too right now. I think that might be very important. Postman Pat and his. Big black hat. Here's the free stamp. Okay, are you describing my Christmas costume? <laughs> I mean, Halloween costume? Uh, that sounds like a nursery rhyme or something. Slay, Slay Spire 2, you're in the testing team. You'll get 10 to 20 codes each to give away and get reviews. Oh, really? That's cool. All right, free stuff. Nice. All right, I really want the weapon upgrade too, even though I can't power it. Let's get power first and then. Um, small bomb has been very clutch in the past. It's good for crew killing. And this is why I wanted hack too, because holy shnikes, this guy literally has my weapon build with the thing I just sold, actually. This guy literally has my weapon build fully online. This is insanely offensive, strong offensive ship right here. Extremely, insanely strong offensive build here.
full of fire and pilot or weapons is actually bad because he won't go repair it. Uh, okay. Damn. All right. So the other one. Okay. So that was the real one. So the other one is fake. So I'll be able to just kill them. One, two, three. God, I need. I need so many upgrades right now. I'm, I'm getting both systems was great, but it also was like all of my scraps. So. Uh, be looking for codes in chat in January from 1 to 31. We will be on stream chat. On this stream or a different stream? Because I can't guarantee I'll be streaming in January. I probably still will be, but I'm looking to make some changes. So I don't know that I'm going to be streaming in January. But if so, I'll look forward to that. Unless you're talking about being in like the Slay the Spire stream or something. There's a doppelganger ship, ship, kill it. That's right. He stole my build. Stealing my build, bro. Here we go. All right. Now we're very strong. We have hacking, cloaking, flak, burst, two, heavy, one. Now we're strong. Changes? Yes. I, if you missed it, I've talked about it a lot over the last month or two, so. Uh, but in case you've missed it, um... Uh, I have been frustrated with my streaming and having to play FTL nonstop all the time lately, so... Uh, I've been looking into making a career change. That career change being looking into going into audio engineering. So... After Christmas, I'm looking to uh, apply for internships at studios to look into doing that. So I don't know what that means for my stream schedule after Christmas. I might be streaming just as much because I only get like one day a week where I get to go intern, where I might not be able to find anything, but I'm planning on making some changes, so. ch ch ch, -ch changes turn to change to strange. Do you need to start planning to replace me as your go-to streamer? You might. You might. Now, it might nothing happen. Maybe nothing will change, but I'm getting burnt out. I've been getting burnt out. What happened to your 300k channel points if you stop streaming? Can I convert to real bucks? Totally. Totally. But you have to contact Twitch for that. But you can totally do that. No, I'm not going to straight up quit. It's going to completely depend on what happens in my search. If nothing happens and I still need to make a bunch of money, I might go back to doing some uh, uh, Uber Lyft driving. That's like, hopefully, last resort. Because not only am I getting burnt out, I'm not making enough money streaming to be able to pay rent at the apartment I live at anymore. Like, it's just, I'm just always behind. I'm very slowly behind, falling behind on rent all the time. So... The burnout plus the running out of money issues are making, are, have convinced me that I need to make a change. And the change I have decided to do is I would like to do something else. I would like to do something in the musical world that I think I would potentially be very good at and possibly enjoy a lot. And looking into audio engineering is what I've been looking into, so. Hey, maybe we could build this guy. What I'm thinking is probably the most likely thing that will happen with my search is um, like I, I might be able to find man, I'm so close to the kill. Uh, an internship and I will have it'll turn out to be kind of like just another gig that I have. So I'll stream pretty regularly but I'll just have gigs when I gotta go do recording stuff or something. But I, I don't know, because it's, it's, I'm trying to go into a new career field that I have very little knowledge about, so. Been back and forth on Twitch for a while. Understandable though, audio engineering seems great. Best of luck, appreciate it. Uh, you would like to cash out your Rand bucks. Need you to play Shiznizzle you love the most, like Satisfactory more. Well, that's, that's the thing. I, if I, if I do end up 
getting a new career in audio engineering. Um, and I make enough money that I don't feel pressured to play FTL to be able to make enough money to pay rent. Then I might stream almost as much as before. I'll just stop playing games that frustrate me, i.e. FTL. And just actually go back to streaming for fun, which is what I first did when I started streaming, was I was doing it as I was looking for singing gigs for fun. Face your dreams, fancy hat man. Thanks, Tactical Bacon. It'd be cool if you had the money, time, and energy to stream whatever you like as a hobby besides your new career. Yeah, it would be nice, but you know, you have to be a super famous streamer to do that. I'm only slightly famous streamer. Not really, I'm not really a famous streamer at all. Okay, a lot of dodges. But when I first started streaming, uh, it was when I lived with my ex. And... Um, when you live with another person and aren't the sole source of income to pay rent, you have a little more freedom. Uh, damn, this guy's got everything. And when I lived at a place that cost half of what this place cost, I still kind of had to play FTL because <laughs> to pay rent, uh, I needed the viewership, you know. If you've never been in content creation, views equals money. Views equals success. Views equals you being able to make a living doing this. So that's why I feel pressure and have been feeling major burnout of uh, all the FTL streams over the last however many years I've been doing this. I'm famous to you. If you saw me at the supermarket, you'd be shyly watching from the opposite aisle. <laughs> nice. One of us need to adopt you. Totally. Find Rand a billionaire wife. Cool hat. Thanks, YTKA. Basically, just need to find a wealthy lady. What you did earlier this year, it took you getting fired to do it, but now you're learning to fly planes and loving it. That's awesome, Tactical Bacon. And I'm not just saying I'm, like, so burnt out, I'm going to just go find anything. I'm kind of, I feel like I'm having a bit of a midlife crisis, too, where I'm like, I'm not satisfied with my lot in life. I want to improve said lot in life. So, let's see, 10... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to expand my horizons, look into a new career path, see about making some changes. That is, okay, only a single border, not too bad. I'm not doing it just because I hate FTL. That's just been the straw that broke the camel's back. My frustrations with FTL have just... Okay, I gotta focus up here. Sorry, I can't keep talking right now. Actually, focus on the shitty game that I hate. Sorry. Good. Wow, how many fucking shots did he hit me with while I was fucking cloaked? Like, fucking all of them? Okay, uh... Like, fucking all of them, I think he hit. Okay. Okay, there we go. That was a really good reward, at least, for that really difficult fight. Uh, you're in content creation, just not the safe-for-work kind. Oh, really? Okay. I don't know if you're memeing or not, but I hope your porn star work is going well. <laughs> just become a gold digger. Okay. Might you be able to finance an honest, modest living in a place that's not Dallas? With streaming? I, I, if I don't play FTL, I don't think I could make a living 
anywhere in the world with the amount of money I'd make from streaming non-FTL. That's how big the difference is between me streaming FTL and me streaming any other game. I don't... I don't think... Because any place else in the world that was cheap enough probably wouldn't have good enough internet for me to even stream. So... I don't... I don't think so. Uh, let me see here. Sorry, what was my plan here? Nine eight seven six. Nine eight seven six five four three one. Probably. Uh, now that you have completely the FTL cycle, there's less to play for. You could say that. You could also argue. Now that I've done it successfully, now it's I can try to beat Hollow's record or something. You could make arguments for many different goals I could have for this game, but I just I'm burnt out on FTL. I mean, I. I honestly, I say I have about five to six thousand hours. I'm guessing it's closer to ten thousand hours I have in this game. I don't really know, and I'm just burned out. Just burned out. And if I don't play FTL, my viewership drops by at least. Like I have less than half the viewers for any other game, and I just. I don't know, man. I don't know. I kind of want to do something else, you know. I'm at that point where I feel ready to make other pursuits and see if there's something else I want to do. Do I want to buy Clone Bay? What sector are we in? We're sector 6. Um, I don't know why I'm going to scrap on that right now. Let's get our Cloak Hack cycle available. Um... Just moved to Alaska. Rand, what if you had a sugar mama but it was contingent on you being an FTL streamer? Then that would be the weirdest situation I've ever heard of in my life. Uh, that would be a very strange, strange situation. Um, if you could watch me on Wednesdays, you would, you would damn in office. Work days. Well, I'm not trying to guilt people for not watching my non-FTL streams. That's not the goal here. I'm just trying to explain my reasoning behind things and the realities of being a streamer. You are literally at the mercy of the algorithm as a as a content creator. And if I was truly trying to be famous streamer making lots and lots of money totally based on views <laughs> sadly I would have to play nothing but FTL because that is by far what I get the most viewership on and I just I don't like how I am when I play FTL my anger issues anyway I think I might be fairly entertaining and funny sometimes but I it's like I don't like how I am when I drive and I don't like how I am when I play FTL I don't like my Anger, frustration, stress levels. So, making a change, I think, is a good thing for me. For what it's worth in your country, you could get one gigabyte connection for $10. What country is that? Alright, I paint my ship with you. With you. Okay. That sounds pretty insane. That there's a country that has internet that cheap. Has anything that cheap, to be honest. Country in Eastern Europe famous for fast internet and stealing people's pockets. Okay. I don't know that I'm ready to move to an Eastern European country where people might steal my pockets. Probably Romania, huh? Okay. Uh, if you have 15 plus fuel on long range scanners, is it worth to jump to no ship beacon? Um, if it's going to cause a dive, I'd say no. If it's not going to cause a dive, then sure. A no ship beacon doesn't mean it's always empty. What you're hearing is I need a punching bag donation go. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. 
it's a stereotype, but Romania is great though. Honestly, if I were to look to move to somewhere in Europe, or Eastern Europe, or Western Europe, or anywhere over in that part of the world, I feel like the place I would be interested in is, um, what's the place that's always voted like happiest country in the world, like Sweden or Norway or one of those Norwegian countries, uh, Slavic countries, I think. Um, is it Norway? I would, I would, I would be interested in checking out Norway. I've never been to that part of the world, and um, that seems like a part of the world where I could get behind whatever their geopolitical landscape is, maybe. But maybe it's not as nice as all the articles that say it's the happiest place in the world is. Maybe it's a big old debate, I don't know. But I've never been that part of the world, so I'd be interested in checking it out. Scandinavia, Denmark, Finland, probably one of those. It's very expensive. Yeah, that's my worry, is that I wouldn't be able to afford to live in those places. <laughs> All right, well, to... Okay, I think this is a crew kill if I'm just patient. Probably Finland. It's also probably more expensive than U.S., though, huh? Damn. Uh, okay. Let's get you to heal while we're waiting for the crew kill. Um, I should be able to speed up time for this, right? There it is. Beautiful. I don't know if crew killing was any better for that event, but very nice reward. Um, let's see here. Get my third shield. Sure, let's do it. There we go. That was the uh, NG quest, the end of the NG quest, I believe. 16 reactor, that's a good deal. That saved me 14 scrap, not bad, not bad. Or is this the, no, ask about Manta ships. So that was the, uh, the NG quest. I'm not sure what this quest is. An escort or something, maybe? Like, I don't know if anybody knows what the mecca for streamers is. The mecca would be cheap internet, cheap cost of living, and what else would it be? Um, I don't know. If anybody knows that place, maybe I could consider doing that instead of changing my career. But to be honest, I'm quite looking forward to for this pursuit I'm looking forward to. Mecca, Saudi Arabia. I definitely do not want to move to the Middle East. I do not want to move to a place where I feel like a war zone could break out any time from everything I see on the news. That's not a part of the world I'm interested in checking out. I'm sure it's super nice if you live there, but I... All I ever see is war over oil. Or the Gaza Strip has exploded again. I don't, I don't really want to be in that part of the world. Um, what's up, Nietzsche? Happy Halloween to you. Move to Siberia. That might be a little cold for me. <laughs> Some countries offer those kind of digital nomad visas. Panama would be a strong contender, huh? Yeah, that's a good reward. What's a digital nomad visa? I've not heard of that before. What, what even is that? Definitely not Canada. It's super expensive here. I dislike the cold. I'm not a big fan of the cold. I prefer warmer weather. Like, honestly, if I had my choice of where I could live, I'd probably choose... I've never been to Hawaii, but I'd love to check out Hawaii. And where I grew up, which was Southern California. But if you want to talk about expensive, frickin' Southern California, man. I have a lot of family in SoCal. That's where Shogi lives. I'd love to try living there as an adult. I only lived there as a kid, so I've never actually lived in SoCal as an adult. Maybe I'd hate it because of traffic, but I have fond memories of SoCal growing up there, so. 
You prefer cold to heat? Yeah. The visa where you work online remotely for a foreign company, you're digitally a nomad. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I mean... What am I buying if I sell this? Definitely not a glaive beam. Do I care about clone bay? Um... Easier to deal with our mind control crew if I, I I'm gonna get clone bay. I just feel safer with clone bay. Feel safer with that when we don't have mind control, especially. Uh, Randy man on the beach. That's right. Maybe Spain or Portugal in the south. Cheap and has digital nomad visas, huh? The Bay Area is super expensive too. You live in SoCal. The churros are great in SoCal. Yeah. <laughs> Go for the churros. Stay for the ladies. Uh, what about Canada? Uh, I've, I'm hearing it's very expensive. Um, Canada's even more expensive than the US, Viper says. I don't know that because it probably depends on where in Canada versus where in the U.S. Because there are cheap places in the, to live in the U.S. But there's also New York and L.A., which are really expensive. And there's probably cheap places in to live in uh, Canada, I would guess. Northern Kentucky around this... Cincy area is affordable. Your mortgage is 800 bucks. Portugal is a cheap option for sure. It's on your list of potentials. Move to more rural area in any number of U.S. states. Well, then I got to make the choice to not sing anymore because one of the big problems about being a singer is you kind of have to live in a big city if you want to have gigs. So I could, if I wanted to go only streaming, which... Uh, uh, that I'm even more committed to playing FTL to be able to pay a low rent? I don't know. It's it's tough, man. It's tough. No, I'm not actually looking to move. I was just, just having a discussion about are there actually any cheap places to live anymore? And there probably just aren't. I feel like there probably just aren't any cheap places to live. Or at least not cheap places I'm willing to move to, I guess. Maybe is a better way to say it. Uh, you lived in Michigan for 25 years. Now you're across the border in Detroit, Windsor. From Detroit in Windsor, Ontario. Small city is still more expensive than Michigan. When you hear how expensive Manhattan is, it baffles you every time. Learn Tagalog and move to Manila. Well, I'll be honest. Tagalog, uh, is that in... Tagalog is where the... F is the language of the Philippines, right? Filipino women are pretty hot, so, you know. <laughs> maybe maybe that's what I should base my moving on. Find find an attractive lady in, in the Philippines. It's also probably pretty warm there. But don't they have, like, monsoons and typhoons? That might be a problem to wor worry about. That might be an issue. Uh, do you hear Hotel California playing in the background? That's right. Just make sure it's actually a lady, though. <laughs> Good... Good tip, good tip. Uh, move a bit outside of the Dallas Metro. Yeah, yeah, potentially. Once I don't need good internet internet to a stream, maybe I can think about moving with my, you know, potential career change I'm considering. But again, it's... If I'm going to be an audio engineer, I probably need to be near Dallas where everybody who would want to hire an audio engineer would be living and working, so, I don't know. Working in the music industry is probably a lot like working in the movie industry. You gotta be where the gigs are. So, I'm not planning on moving right now. They desperately need audio engineers in Manila. Really? <laughs> You know how good the internet in the Philippines is, though. I agree with you. It's worth for the ladies. 
nice nice map okay uh seven six five four three two one um it is settled then rand manila stream Houston is not bad. You're biased. I lived in Houston for a couple of years right out of college. And it's not bad, but it's 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 got the same issues as Dallas has. I'm sure it's overcrowded. I know the traffic's bad. Um, finding gigs there can be challenging. I actually like Dallas better for uh, gig opportunities. So I just had a better... Um, better success finding people and gigs that work for me in Dallas than I did in Houston. So I'm probably not going to go to Houston again. Um, although I have a lot of friends who live in Houston because, you know, when you go to college in um, Texas, Dallas, and Houston are the two places that people end up often. Uh, you're welcome, chat. We'll get Rand to become an elite chicken fighter and stream from said archipelago. Okay. This ship is so strong, you can waste the system slot and still win 100% of the time because science. Yeah, yeah. If you have training, you have a lot of training, so I don't really want to refresh you. You have a store coming up, but I am going to get Columbia 2 filing a couple good value points. Bulgaria was nice when you were there. Interesting, Bulgaria. Is that a is that an Eastern European place? I'm not familiar with. One one problem with talking about where I should move is I am a very ignorant American who's only been out of the country a couple times, and I don't know a lot of these places. Um, I've been to Mexico and. Germany, Austria, and Italy, and only one city or two cities in each of those places. So I don't have a lot of knowledge about a lot of places in the world. So I could never compete in those. Um, I watched those um, Google Map competition. What is that called? Google Earth. Um, GeoGuessr. I could never compete in those GeoGuessr competitions. Those people are crazy with their knowledge of the world. It's pretty awesome, though. What the hell? <laughs> Come on, get this missile down. It's probably going to be the only thing that stays online. Yeah, it's like I can't hit him. Panama is a no for you. You were there for two months in college and it was about six weeks too long. Yikes. Uh, Bulgaria has the best beaches and all-inclusive hotels. Eastern European flag is red, white, and green. Well, I actually have a negative opinion of places with all-inclusive hotels because I got roped into a timeshare in, again, with my ex, uh, in Puerto Vallarta. And those places are so scummy trying to get people to get give them money for their timeshare and all inclusive places are all trying to get you to buy a timeshare that's more than most americans what i have knowledge of maybe so but i compared to europeans i feel like i have no knowledge of the world uh when you were at school your friend's dad's job was to go around the world setting up pig farms still don't understand it but for five years he was at a school in vietnam pretty interesting Okay, um, I'm gonna go for fourth shield, but I'm not gonna fully invest because if I can get another one power weapon, that would be pretty nice. I have a passport. I do, but I, it's probably not still good because of how long it's been since I've used it. I forget how long passports are good for, but. Uh, but I do have one, so yeah, maybe maybe I'm more knowledgeable than other Americans, but, you know, being more a knowledgeable than the average American, probably not something to be super proud of, to be honest. 
No shade to my fellow Americans, but there's a lot of stupid Americans. <laughs> I see them in Dallas when I drive all the time. Call back to earlier's uh, raging at Dallas drivers. Ten years for U.S. passport. Yeah, I have a feeling my passport's not so good then. Or it's maybe getting to the end of its validity and I need to renew it. Now this guy's dodging everything. Uh, what makes you say that out of interest? You're interested in moving there, so always open to hearing experiences. Wait, are you talking to me or somebody else? Uh, pretty women in Eastern Europe, nice. Uh, Jaren Bolt is absolutely insane with GeoGuessr. Oh, you're responding to somebody about Panama or something like that. Ten years adult, five for kids. Keep going south in Mexico to Oaxaca. Oaxaca, I think is how you say that. Master for people, more chill vibes. Passport last ten years. I don't know what kind of all-inclusive hotels you went to. You mean by all-inclusive is you can eat all you want, and drink in duration of your stay. Yeah, but did that place that you go to try to sell you a timeshare? Keith Floyd. The only other places I've seen that are all-inclusive are always trying to sell you a timeshare. Uh, passports take five seconds to renew, so at least that's easy. That's good. Okay. Uh, okay. There's stupid people everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's true. The U.S. ones just have a spotlight. Yeah, probably. Okay. Um, uh, wait for my hack to come back up. I think it'll come back up anyway. Nice. nice. Because it is in. AE system. Beautiful. Take flight. You're on an island in the middle of the Panama Canal for mosquito research. Not a ton to do outside work. A lot of feral dogs, poverty, super hot. You got Rocky Mountain spotted fever from a tick while doing field work. Food was pretty good, though, and it's cheap to live there. Rocky Mountain spotted fever from a tick. That, that is actually the thing, the kind of statement that scares me out of going to any place that's like, I don't know, not super developed. I don't know how many places are not super developed in the world anymore because we humans are a disease and have spread across the world. But uh, that kind of stuff scares the hell out of me. Uh, whole beam. That's also in the US, okay. All right, okay, whole beam. I think we can make this work. Means I probably don't get full shield online, but I would like an extra weapon, so I'll go with that. Tick diseases can be pretty bad. There are quite a few all-inclusive places to go in Europe that don't try to sell your timeshare. You gotta be careful. You check what's in the all-inclusive, though. Some try to cheap you out on the drinks. Okay. You don't want to eat at the hotel all the time, either. Yeah. Mosquitoes are terrible. Terrible. Yes. Almost as bad as humans, right? How many missiles can you expect on average from a fight one by destruction? Fight one by destruction. I'm sorry, I don't understand that question. I just don't quite understand how that was worded, sorry. You mean, you said sectors one and two. Like, how many missile ships until you just die? Is that the question? Could be two if they, it's two ships with the Artemis missiles. That's the problem. There's no, like, straight answer. It's like, if enemies have Artemis missiles, you're kind of effed unless you have cloaking or defense drone. Sector one and two. How many missiles can you expect on average from a fight won by destruction? Oh, like as a missile reward. How many you get a loot? Completely random. Completely random. I don't know. If uh, Mike Copley were here, maybe he could give you a better answer, but it's completely random loot, loot rewards. I'd say if you if you get missiles from a fight one to three on average. But it's so completely random what your rewards are in FTL. It's I don't I don't know that anybody can give you a really good answer on that. Back in the hull beam. Missing rewards from winning a fight are basically random. Yeah, missile rewards, yeah. It's it's basically random. I, I don't think anybody can answer that. Mike Copley would be the closest to maybe knowing some numbers. 
Most of Texas is subtropical, so stuff from Panama can still be found in Texas. How many missiles are you taking on average for, for one fight? How much ammo? Yeah, okay. One to three. I'll just say one to three. I don't I don't feel like I have a good answer for you, but one to three. Thank you for the raid, Dutoslav. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome to Salty FTL Stream. Where I yell at chat when bad things happen from FTL. Consumable rewards, you believe, are split by low, medium, and high, and are the same in every sector, scrap award scale with sectors. Cool. How did your stream go, Dudaslav? You played some FTL? Cool. Hope your stream went well. How did the stream go? Did you also get salty and yell at your chat like I do? Oh, that's... Just kidding, I would never yell at chat, right chat? <laughs> Dodge just enough for him to do zero effing damage. Never! Lol, lol, no, lol, kappa, kappa lol, would never do that. <laughs> see, see, chat, chat agrees with me, I would never yell at them. Ignore all the lols and kappas in chat. Uh, chat was nice, and we won as a Kestrel Type B. It was some good fun. Nice. Nice. Glad to hear it. Good double reward there. I feel like yelling at chat is a unique Rand flavor. <laughs> Never! Well, hardly ever! There's some, uh, Gilbert and Sullivan reference for anybody who's a Gilbert and Sullivan fan. I never use a big, big D. What, never? No, never! What, never? Well, hardly ever! Never use a big, big D. So I'll get three cheers and one cheer more for the well-bred captain of the pinafore. Da -da 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 captain of the pinafore. There you go. There's a little, 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 little GNS for you, chat. Never use a big, big D. Double offensive drone, huh? Like that. No missiles. No missiles. Beautiful. Rand is very zen about everything. I am so zen. I'm so zen. Uh... You've only got a big D to use. <laughs> yeah, you know? I probably didn't get that when I was in... When I did that show. The big D is saying damn it. Or dammy in the show. I was too much a church person to know that Big D could be something else. Uh, now now I realize that maybe some people were chuckling at that, that I didn't get the joke way back then. Am I going to see the new Wicked movie? I've never been... Uh, I've never actually seen Wicked, so I doubt I will watch the movie. Ah. Oh. Well, I just can't hack right now. Okay, well, let's try it again then. I'm just gonna fucking fail over, over here. What the hell, man? What the actual fuck? Did I get through? I still have not fucking gotten through here. Jesus Christ. And then he fucking hits my fucking weapons. I hate this fucking game. Alright, missiles down at least. God, this guy's going into every room in my ship. Just don't go on my weapons. Holy shit, I fucking hate riggers. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Okay, 70% chance to dodge. Fuck you, FTL, and your piece of shit, cheating ass, motherfucking bullshit. Fuck you, FTL. Did I finally get through? No, I still didn't get fucking through. Give me a fucking break. What the fuck, FTL? These fucking dogs! <sighs> Welcome to my stream where I curse, I yell at chat and curse at FTL because this game's a piece of shit and I fucking hate it. God damn it, man. God damn it. How much damage have I taken this fight? Nine? Fucking nine damage from a fucking rebel rigger. Do you see why I have to quit? Streaming and quit this game. Can I have a fucking free repair from this shit? No. Oh, this game stresses me out so much, man. This fucking game stresses me out so much. 
Ion Intruder, Double Defense Drones, Fucking Missile. God, I hate this game so much. This game is ruining my chance of having more than 90 years to live in my life. I can't even talk. I'm Basically, this game is just slowly depleting my lifespan. I swear. God damn it, this fucking game. Next year, dress up as Sideshow Bob and sing the entire HMS Pinafore, please. All right, sure. I'll, I'll think about it. Think about it. Uh, riggers are nightmare ships. They're just shitty bullshit ships that shouldn't exist, man. Three breaches. Fucking nine damage in Sector 8 from a ship that's way fucking scarier than the actual boss fight, man. Ah, <sighs> yes. FTL is a timer on my health, my sanity, my... Any kind of positivity I can have in life. Jesus Christ, man. I could not get my hacking drone past their double fucking defense drones. Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, we have a nine health handicap going to the goddamn boss fight. Alright, well, welcome Raiders, uh, where I yell and curse at FTL. God damn, this game is so frustrating. You finished Phase 5 in Satisfactory last night. Grats, White Horse, grats. Who wants to live 90 years when you can play FTL and live 50 years? Me. I want to live 90 years and not be playing FTL for 50 years of my life. Ah, oh, yes, just sit back and enjoy the salt, I guess. This is not a build where we're going to get a lot of crew kills. Okay, a store. I'm going to wait and hope the store is there that I can jump back and repair after phase one. That's what I'm going to hope for, and that he doesn't jump there and take over, I guess. Because if we get a bad hack like a weapon hack, I'm going to want to have a safe place to jump anyway. Will we find our ship is decked out? I don't know. If you don't get crew kills phase one, mind control phase three can be an absolute nightmare to deal with. Now I get the fun of random fucking shit going offline when they hack my battery. That'll be fun. Random systems are now going to go offline. It'll probably be my fucking weapons every time. Wow, big surprise. He dodged just enough for me to do zero fucking damage. The fires and the piloting sucks. Yep, randomly just turned off my fucking shields in the middle of his shot. Yay for backup battery hack. So balanced and fun. Why? Oh, 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 hit him. him! Come on, man! Come on. Okay. Alright, if I can get a crew killer two here, that would be nice. Okay, we got like one. Not ideal. Phase three is gonna be a bitch. Because this is just. I need fires to crew kill, and we got zero fires from a burst laser heavy laser build. This fucking game. Of course they take it over. Of course they fucking take over. That's why you just go to the store rather than, or the repair beacon, rather than wait and hope you can get more value out of it. Because FTL will say, ha ha ha, you thought you were getting a store, but then I took it over. You know why? Because fuck you, I'm FTL, and I want you to suffer and have pain and not ever enjoy anything about your life. Ha ha ha. Thanks, FTL. Thanks. Thanks, FTL. All right, dealing with phase three borders is just going to be a bitch. There's nothing else to it. Sounds like your ex. <laughs> well, I guess you're glad you're out of that relationship then, huh? Uh, 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 you didn't say the magic word. Uh, uh, uh. Offline. Wow, big surprise. On, he dodged man. just enough for me to do zero fucking damage. Oh, come on. Can I get some damn fires in their shields, please? No. Damn, that would have been a crew kill if I turned that off just in time. Hopefully there was a side room bug kill at the end, but I don't know. This is looking terrible for crew kills, man. 
We're gonna have to do. Uh, we're gonna have to be, do abduction strats. Hundred percent. Twenty-five gets us nothing. Pain is virtue. Rimworld approved. Okay. By the time you finish that first phase, the shop closed. I know, and it's annoying as hell. Okay, so kidnap, kidnap strats. So um, let's go have all of our non-NGs hang out in the clone bay. And our NGs can be in rooms I don't care about if they're attacking. So something like that. I'm going to vent you. DPS rest to finish it. It might end up being a DPS race. We'll see. It just completely depends on how the boss fight goes, or the phase one goes, and how bad the boarding is, and the mind control. Okay. At least we have pilot mind control immunity. One, two, three, four, five, six borders plus mind control. I'm gonna level two here. Oh, doge. Come on, game. No, you need to be a good come doge. On. You need to stop being a bad doge. Okay, that's actually pretty good dodges, but we have all this crew on our ship, so let's go kill them. Okay, good. All right, now we should have zero do uh, zero borders to have to worry about, or maybe one. This guy's refreshed here. That's a very good phase one. Uh, first, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? A very good phase three abduction. Very good. Best part of third phase is taking three barrage cycles to take down the overshield. It's the best. So good. Hey, but we have artillery, the best system in the game. So it's going to just get through the Zelda shield so fast. It's so good. It's just the best system in the game. So, with artillery, how could we ever lose? Alright, let's do the same thing here. These guys all here. You there. And I still can't do anything with 25 scrap, okay? Alright. Oh, crap. You can still board with two more. Okay, that's fine. Not cloak the missile this time. No! Why? He dodged Why? Are you shot? Uh, except he hit my weapons. Okay. We're through yet? No, not yet. Cloak this. Let me fucking hit him! Here. Come on, Freaking man! Neo. Good. Okay. We're through. We're still not through. Now we're through. Don't hit my missile oh, weapons, please. Death by a thousand okay. fucking missiles, man. Oh, oh god damn it. My oh, control in the room I'm trying to Gay fucking Rogers. repair. Fuck you, FTL. There we go. GG. God, it's hard to... Uh, God, it's hard to all, uh, aim a beam while doing all of the other, other macro and frickin' hard mode no pause. It's so effing hard. But there it is. GG cookie time. Uh, 98 people believed in Fed A. I am, I am surprised. But that is 17 wins in a row. Apparently, we're still undefeated on this ship that we almost died in Sector 1 because of effing two damage missiles and this ship actually not being very good, in my opinion, because artillery and stuff. Uh, that's Fed A down. And uh, Believers Rejoice, and let's check the score. 54-30. Pretty average, I feel like. That Nebula sector in Sector 3 was pretty terrible. Barely over 100 scrap. Sector 8 was terrible scrap gains. 
your faith rewards you. 100% stats never lie. All right. Well, GG cookie time. We got Fede. I don't know that I got three runs in me today, even if we have two fast runs, because my brain is tired and my salt levels are high lately. So we'll see what the next run looks like. Uh, especially if I lose, I probably can't get a third run in. But I'm going to stand huge restroom. You'll feel free to grab a drink, grab a snack. Enjoy chair ad time. Enjoy a cookie. When we come back, we'll do at least one more run and see if we can keep the streak, streak alive. Y'all rock. See you in just a bit, my friends.